I'm like, where are the adults? Like, what's happening? We're on vacation. We get all the meats. The ingredients are gonna swim. Thanks. At the end of the Space Jam cheer, they do sparkle fingers. Hey, everybody. Welcome. And thank you, you little firecracker, for tuning in to a freshly squeezed episode of Lemon Sucks at Games Movie Night. I'm Lemon. And I'm Wedge. Today, we talk about farting into a phone. <laughs> a tiny cheerleading outfit, and Bucky Barnes. If you can guess the movie from that, drop us a comment below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next chaotic hangout. Just to fill you in on what we're doing, Lemon will be trying to recall the plot of a movie of my choosing. But... Which is funny, because I can't remember anything at all. <laughs> while she does that, uh, we will be attempting to play a distracting game. Today that game is Overcooked All You Can Eat. For episode two, we still have, we have no sponsors. Maybe one day. Hmm. Well, let's go! <sighs> We're gonna do surf and turf. So I might be this turtle, but I also might be calamari. See, I was thinking the shark or the narwhal. Ugh, oh, I can be purple. Purple octopus. <gasps> he has an eye patch. Look at him. <laughs> and he looks like a little pastry chef. I mean, that is pretty great. I'm being him. Uh, so should I be calamari then? If you want. I do like calamari. Look, the purple one's pretty cool. The purple one's pretty cool. I'm going to be purple calamari. Yay, look, they're so cute. <laughs> surf and turf. So today we're doing surf and turf. Do you think we'll make lobster? Uh, I, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready? This is your lines. My friends, fancy seeing you here. Well, of course I called you here, but still, what a treat. Welcome. Welcome to the Stilton Resort. Like like Stilton cheese, you oh, get it? Yeah, yeah. But why are you at this glorious five-star five star summer destination, I hear you ask? Well, the Onion Kingdom's Culinary Council were less than impressed by the whole raising of the bread incident. We don't talk about that. So they suggested a little holiday or a little exile, if you're feeling literal. So here we are, but there is much fun to be had. Hey, Kevin. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I said I'm sorry. Dot, dot, dot. You see why I need your help? There was no pause there. So go, <laughs> take a tour of the resort and bring me some new recipes. Once I present them to the council, they're sure to welcome us back. Go now, hit the beach, turn up the heat, and bring back those fresh flavors. With a U. Flavors. Can you still pet the dog? Can you? You can. Yes, you can. Can I pet the parrot? Nope. <laughs> Look at how cute I am. My little eye patch. I mean, it is pretty amazing. So for our movie today, I think um, we're going to do one of Lemon's favorite movies. <laughs> um, I think we're going to do Bring It On. Bring It On legitimately is kind of one of my favorite movies. I mean, it's a good movie. It is very, what, 90s? 90s. Early ooze, aughts. I very think it's ooze. ooze. Okay, smoothies. Chop up fruit, blend together, and serve in glass. Seems doable. We always have problems with brown blenders, though. You have problems with blenders. Okay, bananas. Oh, it's kind of, it's like soup. You're like soup. The choppies are over here. You've thrown a banana in the middle. I, can we get to the middle? No. Oh, well, that's good. Um. So bring it on. Much like Die Hard, I don't recall how this movie starts. <laughs> uh, I feel like it starts with a fever dream that Torrance, played by my least favorite actor on the planet, Kirsten Dunst, plays. You don't like Mary Jane? Mary Jane. Oh, no. And she's literally the worst in Spider-Man. <laughs> she's, like, so two-dimensional. She has absolutely no character. And I don't think it's because of the character. Because read a comic book. Do these, um... We need to serve these. I don't care. Yes, you do. No, I don't. 
these people are in the way doing the what's it called uh the conga line yes doing the conga line doing the conga line doing the conga line hello i would like one conga line please uh i don't i'm not i i need strawberry i need strabbies 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 strawberries uh, Kirsten Dunst is uh, Torrance. She is a cheerleader at some high school that is irrelevant. And she is having a fever dream about how she's going to be the prom queen? That can't be right. Homecoming queen? No. Head cheerleader. She wants to be the head cheerleader. Head cheerleader. That's like the whole point of the movie. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stupid. She's having a fever dream, and like all these girls are like, "Yay, we're cheerleaders!" And this is my name, and they're doing cheers while that happens because they're cheerleaders. This is gonna be really short because here's what I remember about the movie, right? She like has this fever dream, and it's really good. And we needed one more strawberry over here. Where's the third strawberry? There is no third strawberry. Well, here you go. Well, I'm in the giving you cups. Why? Your job is to chop. We never established jobs. We literally did. You were just over there chopping a lot. That you never said That's your job, the job is to chop. That's you have it, a strawberry. It established itself. You established yourself. That's hurtful. Okay, well I guess my job is to wash this cup now since it's just chaos. <laughs> well, of course it's just chaos. What is this game if not chaos? Conga lines. Chaos and conga lines. That's a much better name. Um, Let me chop everything. I need uh, two more strabbies. Torrance wants to be the president of cheer. and Because Big Red is like retiring. or She's not retiring. She's graduating. <laughs> <laughs> she's graduating high school. It's her last day. It's and like retiring. Head cheerleader is like up for grabs or something, right? So she um, she's trying to pick the best cheerleader. And they all... They vote? It's a cheerocracy? I don't remember. And Torrance become. Where do we serve? Here. Oh. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, it's a cheerocracy, so they all vote, and Torrance is the most popular, as most things in high school work, and she becomes head cheerleader. She immediately decides that they're gonna try, like, the most dangerous cheer move known to man. And when she does that, it breaks one of the cheer girl's legs, right? Yes. Um, and thus, Elijah Dushku, which is Faith from Buffy. Oops, I just tried to put a one banana smoothie. In so there. we have Mary Jane and Faith from Buffy. Yes. <laughs> and there's something about a brother, too. A brother? Elijah Dushku's brother? Yeah, isn't well, it? You, you can wait. Okay, you fine. You can fine, wait. Fine. That's, you know, get, build up some anticipation, please. Sorry. That banana is in the corner and not helpful to me. You're in the corner. Can I get this banana? Nope. No. You screwed us. I'm, I've, I've, I've done it. <laughs> you heard it here. We need cops. Here. These people are in my way. Now you're in my way. <clears throat> Elijah Dushku shows up and she's like, I am the best cheerleader you've ever seen. Except she's, like, got Dude, marker did really good. all over herself and it looks like tattoos and everyone's like, you can't be a cheerleader. You have tattoos. And she's like, I got bored. And she, like, licks her arm and smears the tattoo away because it's just pen. Ah. And they're all like, oh, dang. Because these, I've really lost the plot. <laughs> I didn't even begin the plot. Like, she she wants to be head cheerleader. Red goes away. Torrance has a boyfriend, too, who's like an asshole. And everybody really thinks he's super gay. Which is, the problematic part of the movie is that they sort of have a problem with male cheerleaders and being gay. Like, they bring that up quite often. There's a blender right there. You can put both for strawberry. Thanks. You're welcome. Where are the pineapples? I have them. And I have a chippy choppy. I have a, <clears throat> a, a banana. I feel like everything's going to move very soon. I have a feeling that's true. Uh, Torrance has a boyfriend who's like kind of a D-bag. He was a cheerleader the year that Red was a cheerleader, right? But both Red and her shitty boyfriend graduate and go off to college. <clears throat> Torrance takes over the cheer team and they start practicing the cheers. She breaks that girl's leg. And so they need a new cheerleader. 
they audition the cheerleaders and two of the cheer girls who are like two of the like second most popular from Torrance want it to be what? The that one banana can go in there. One banana. We need cups. I, w I will do the cups. You do the cups. Can you get that thing? No. Please. I thought you were doing the cups. I'm getting the. I'm doing the cups. Uh, this needs um. Let's try. And um, two of the other girls want to be. They're like the two most popular girls Balance. after Torrance, so they're like. I don't know, not really in charge, but they talk like they're in charge a lot and they're on the cheer like board that Torrance has because she brings other people to the auditions. It's very weird and I don't think most teams actually go that way. Are you saying that the movies are not are, are 100%, <laughs> not 100% accurate? I just, also there's never, there's no coach in the movie. Like it's literally just all the, how dare you? It was right there. It's literally just all the girls like running the cheerleading team on their own, letting the male cheerleaders sexually harass them and call each other gay and stuff. I'm like, where are the adults? Like, what's happening? Also, the like secondary premise of this movie, I fell in the ocean. No. <laughs> is that they have stolen these cheers. Like, you find out that Big Red stole all the cheers from a different school. How do I say this? It's like an urban school. <laughs> you do know that it's like, um, the school, the school that's against them, which is the, the not the Tauros, the Clovers. The East Valley? East Compton? Where are they from? I, they're, I, it's East something, I don't remember. Well, they're the Clovers, and they are, like, a lower-income school, right? Yeah. They, um... If you can remember the name of the school, put it in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's East Compton. Aren't they in California? Am I crazy? Uh... Yes? Mm, anyways... I don't even know what we're doing. I'm confused. You need bananas and panaps. You're a panap. I'll panap you. Do not put out. <laughs> ha, got one. Uh, Clovers. Clovers. So there's the rich, fancy school that Torrance and all the blonde white girls go to. And then there's the other school, which is the Clovers, and they're all black, and it's a lower income school. No, that's the Tauros. The Tauros, no, the Tauros are the high, high, the, that's where Tori is from. She's a Tauros. Oh, okay. Yeah, the you're Clovers right. The Clovers are yeah, the right. other school. The racial thing does not come up as like a point, but I think they are trying to make a point. I mean, it's definitely there. Yes. Um, but it, nobody like comes right out and says anything, which is good, I think. <clears throat> for the time. It was very, I, I think we talked about this, like, Bring It On is kind of progressive for, like, women and sort of, like, the race stuff, but it uh, isn't is, for the LGBT community. It this, has some... This is a water gun one. Water gun? Instead of extinguishers. Oh. Uh, and it's burgers. Um, How do I... Can I, I have, toss you this? I have meat. I must have to. Uh, which I need you to cook. You need to cut everything you said it incorrectly i will not do it until you say it correctly you need to chop everything you need to chippy chop i'll take everything? it i'll take chop <laughs> but yes i have cheese also we don't need chippy choppy we need to chippy chop um i also only have one plate cheese where are the plates i have one. Oh no i have three i'm dumb you're not dumb be nice Oh, so you can say you're dumb all the time, but I can't say it to me? Yeah, that's how it works. I don't think that's how that works. That is how it works. Neither of us is dumb. Uh, this needs two meats? Who puts double meats on a burger? We're on vacation! We get all the meats! <laughs> Are we Arby's? Your, uh, your alarm went off. Because we're time for bed, friend. Because we have the meats. It's bedtime now. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I really have gone off the rails <laughs> with this story. <laughs> Uh, I need... Can I throw this? No. Where do I wash? I think I water gun. Oh, you water gun. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> okay, I need a pineapple. 
Uh, and I need a. Uh, there's a pineapple. Go out. I need a lettuce and a tomato. I need a tomato. Hand me that tomato. Um, clovers. I don't even know. Uh, okay, so Big Red leaves, she goes to college. Tori's boyfriend leaves, he goes to college. He's an asshole, you never really hear from him, even though she like really needs him to be there for her and help her, because what they find out is the reason that the Tauros, which is Tori's team, which is hilarious now that I'm saying it that way, um, have been basically- I need ste lettuce. Stealing their routines from, I have a bun, uh, from, this, <laughs> <laughs> from this other team, the East Compton, I think, Clovers. And, um, and they, oh. oh, oh, Elijah Dushku. She came to that school for some reason, I don't remember. And when she gets there, she's like, how dare you like steal these routines? And Tori's like, what, what are you talking about? So they drive, they get in Elijah Dushku's like little slug bug. Also Elijah Dushku has a brother whose name I cannot recall. Uh, he plays a guitar and he likes punk and he's really cool and i wish he was my boyfriend uh i don't think you're alone in that you have put the pineapple in the way of my squirt gun and now i cannot assist you <laughs> um what do these need uh i need cheese and lettuce on one chess and uh that's a double meat and, have a, a chess. Uh, and then a pineapple on the other have a lettuce okay have a pineapple Uh, Elijah Dushku gets there and she's like, what the fuck? I can't be on this team anymore. And everybody's like, no, you have to be on the team because you're super talented and we suck. Uh, they don't suck, but the, they like wanted at one point a stripper to be one of the cheerleaders and a guy in ballet and one of the other cheerleaders, like little tiny sister. They were like, she should be the other cheerleader because we can throw her in the air. Mm. And everyone's like, or it could be Elijah Dushku because she's fake. And is, that's important. Was she fake before <laughs> this? I think so, yeah. I think it's kind of like all around the same time. Because like, what does she even do after the ooze? What has Elijah Dushku been in? I, I do not what know. What is she doing these days, good old Dushku? <laughs> uh, there's the switch. So um, they go to the other thing and she's like, I can't be on this team. And... Yeah, she piles into the slug bug with uh, Elijah Dushku and Tori. Who looks very cute and very ooze. She's, she dresses very well the entire movie, Tori does. I miss the ooze a little bit. I won't lie. For the dressing? Yeah, for the dressing. How do we get to these chippy chops? Uh, everything will move, I assume. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The, the ingredients are going to swim. Thanks. <laughs> Just throw me into the pool. Uh, you're welcome. You're the best friend. You're welcome. Excuse me. I guess I'll do this one. Oh, I was doing the other one, but nope. I don't want that. <laughs> he just chucks it into the pool. Oh. But I How need convenient. I need that. I need that strabby. Not anymore. So they go to the other school. They go to the other school and they're like, Burr, it's cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. And everybody's like, oh, because that's the cheer that they do, except they say that's right. <laughs> Except they say Tauros, not Clovers, because it's the Tauros, not the Clovers. And that's when you're like, Big Red's been stealing the routine all along. And Tori cries and she calls her boyfriend as one would because he was a cheerleader and he, he you know, he should be able to help her. And he was like Red's right hand man. And he's like, Tori, babe, darling, sweetheart. Just do the stolen routine. Big Red has never let us down before. And Tori's like, no, I don't want to be that kind of person. I want to win because... Can I pick up this banana? I can. Who's throwing... Have a pool banana. <laughs> Who's throwing... Oh. <laughs> okay. I need, a, I need a cup. There's a cup. A lot of the cups are dirty, though. I'm starting to get nervous. Oh, shit. It's a squirt gun one. Oh. I can't wash them in the pool, apparently. I like this lady over here. Oh, this one's not done. I thought it was done. I need to whip her banana. What lady? Ah! Okay, I didn't drown. <laughs> this lady over here at the poolside, like down here on the lower left. 
she's just chilling, man. She, she is, is living, living her, her best, best life. life. Get out of my head. I will not. <laughs> I like it here. I'm gonna um, wash some cups. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm gonna wash like a bunch of cups. Um, so they go to the, the store. Nope, the school. <sighs> I have the squirt gun. Well, where mm -hmm. is it now? I don't know. You shoved me into the pool. There it is. It reappeared. Like my mom. After several years. Wow. <laughs> that, that got that got real real. Will you wash the cups, please? No, apparently not. I'll just jump in the pool. Where, what am I working on? Strabby bees? You get, yeah, work on the strabbies. I can't because you've fruited up these boards. Okay, um, all of the cups are clean. And Tori's like, oh shit, like we stole these. I don't want to be this person because I want to do it right and be the best the prom queen ever. Except that East Compton's like, actually, we're going to nationals this year. And the only reason you guys have won every year is because we can't afford to go. Which is like how you find out that whole piece of information. So Tori like goes back to her dad. And also she has a hilarious brother who's like the comedic relief of the film and is like farting in her face and they fight a lot and he we have to do it again we have to do the pool level again well i blame you 100 percent for this because i feel like you pushed me into the water consistently i don't know what you're talking about you pushed me into the water over and over again but when we whenever we have to cross paths you do not give a shit at <laughs> all and you just barrel through everything i don't know what you're talking about see you just literally tried to do it well, now I'm aiming for you. Oh, great. Anyways, her brother, like, farts in... You're going down, turtle man. <laughs> her brother, like, <laughs> farts in the phone and stuff, and he she turns off his video game at one point, which is something memorable. I don't remember. Um, and uh, she's like, Dad, can I have money to take this other school to nationals because... We've been screwing them over. And he's like, I don't know. And she's like, it could be a charity thing. And he's like, okay. And he gives her the check. And then she like goes to give the check to them or something. And they're like, no, screw you, Blondie. We will do it on our own. And then they write to someone who's like a late night talk show host or like a parody of Oprah. I'm not sure. But it's like someone who like does charity and has a show and blah, blah, blah. That was not me. Oh, I thought it was you. That's why. <laughs> That was me just walking into the pool. I mean, you just, you needed a quick dip. It's fine. I get it. Quick dip. Just a quick dip. A quick dip. I'm going to wash these glo uh, cups. Gloves? These gloves. I'm going to wash these I gloves. I feel like you were going to say gloves. Yes. Oh, that sucks. Uh, bananas. Melons. So they write to this lady and they're like, hey, we're the East Compton Clovers and we're your biggest fans and we're really talented, but we haven't been able to go to nationals and these people keep stealing our routine. And she's like, hell yeah, you're going to nationals. And she sends them to nationals. And uh, when Tori was there, right? Wait, no. I don't remember when they say bring it on. Is it at the tournament or is it when she comes to try and give her the check? I don't remember. Well, she's there and she's like, I want you to go to nationals because I want us to actually, like, deserve the win. And she's like, oh, don't worry, you won't deserve the win. And Tori's like, bring it. And the other one's like, bring it. Is the girl who plays... What do I know the girl who plays the other head cheerleader from? I do not know. I know her from something else. Like, around that same time, I'm pretty sure. From the ooze. Bring it on two? N no. Neither of them are in Bring It On <laughs> 2. No one should have been in Bring It On 2. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there are no cups. Why, why did you not put the strawberry bee in the... Because we need cups, and there are no cups. So put it in the thing, though. Listen, I don't tell you how to do your job. You do constantly, no, I all do the not. time. I literally don't, except when you murder me. I don't murder you. And then you make me really mad because you're doing dumb things. Then I tell you what to do. <laughs> oh, I, know, I only tell you what to do when it's convenient How for did me. we miss a strawberry one? I feel like we just put that out, didn't we? You just skipping it? 
I'm about to no, tell you what to do. <laughs> you were you were doing it. I thought I you were doing it. I guess. I don't know. Didn't you just get mad at me for like not doing the strawberry? I don't. Ga know. It's Gabrielle Union, isn't it? Is that who is the head cheerleader? No, that's not right. I don't know. I don't know her name. I'm looking it up. This is the only thing I'm looking it up. Did we did we do it? We got through one four. Bring it on, cast. Casey. Casey what? Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle. Union. Uh, okay. okay. Isis was her name. They all had very interesting names, <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about that. Was that just the times, or were the writers being not cool? I mean, it could be both. This is your line. My chefs. Yes, this is perfect. I can taste the sea, the sand, the island breeze as it runs through my layers. See, because he's an onion. He's he an has, onion has layers. layers yeah. This is bound to change the council's mind. But we need more! Don't we always? Go, work on that tan and bring me more tropical tidbits. Hello! <laughs> oh, okay, bye! N nothing from Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Nothing to say, he's really mad. Kevin is real he's mad. He's pissed. Although he is getting a vacation out of this, so... Uh, I believe they called it an <clears throat> exile, <throat> which is not quite the same. <laughs> it seems like an exile to a beautiful place. Fair. I mean, I could be exiled to Hawaii. Yeah, that'd be okay. So Tori's like, here, I brought you a check. And Gabrielle Union's like, no, bring it on. And Tori's like, don't you worry, it will be brought in. And so then they go head to head in the mortal combat for life or death. You mean in... Cheerleading. Cheerleading. <laughs> We're making kebabs, by the way. Oh. Um. I'm a turtle. Uh, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. Excuse me, sir. You are not a turtle. Uh, panaps. Where are the panaps? Oh, over there. On the left. Ugh. And this is tomats. Oh, there's chicken in this one, too. That sounds like salmonella. You can have a chicken kebab. There's no chicken in that one. What are you talking about? No, no, in the top, like in the oh. ingredients. We have nothing. Do we have to, like, stoke the fire or anything? Or I think it just goes. It just takes forever? Yeah. Weird. This can't be right. Nope. Here it is. God damn oh. it. Oh. Oh, well. Too late. <laughs> here. <laughs> Now it's a sand kebab. I can't pick it up. Hello? Is this good still? There's like nothing on it. Okay. Weird. I, we're gonna fail this one. I don't really know. Is that done? Like, what's the deal? I'm confused. What, what are you confused about? Right there. I helped you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we need chicken, meat... Chicken, beef, and uh, tomato. You need chicken, beef, and tomato. I like how you chop the chicken and then the bone just like goes away. I wish that was real. <clears throat> chicken. You already did the chicken. What does this one need? Also steak? No. That one's good, except it needs more chicken. Where do you put the fire thingy? Eee. There it is. I don't know. Nope. I know nothing. I'm only a turtle. I only know turtle things. <clears throat> uh, okay, so Gabrielle Union and uh, Eliza Dushku go head to head. No, Gabrielle Union and the worst actress on the face of the planet go head to head. You know, that's insulting a little bit, because she was a very good vampire when she was like 10. Who was she in what? In what? Kirsten Dunst. In an Interview with the Vampire. Oh, in an Interview with the Vampire. Okay. Yeah, she was real good in that. That was it. That was the peak of her career. <laughs> so, um, okay. So they're like, we're going to go head to head. And then there are a series of montages, right? Where Kirsten Dunst learns how to mime and how to do karate. And she learns how to break dance and do modern dance. Oh, wait, no. First, there's that guy. 
whose name I want to say is like Bucky Barnes, right? I'm pretty sure Bucky Barnes comes. I don't think it's actually it's Bucky, Bucky Barnes. Barnes and teaches them Can a you cheer. Stoke the fire to over here. Space Jam. And at the end of the Space Jam cheer, they do sparkle fingers. I mean, spirit fingers. I thought they did jazz hands. They do spirit fingers. And. Um, oh, yeah, because he's like, no, these aren't spirit fingers. These, these are, are spirit, spirit fingers. fingers. He also body shames the shit out of all of them, and he, like, smacks one girl's patoose, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then they have to pay, like, a lot of money for They have to pay for him. Again, there's no coach. There's no coach there going, hey, could you not touch this girl's vagina and also call her fat? Like, if we could avoid that altogether, I feel it would be ideal for everyone involved. Where is the stoking thing? I don't know. You had oh, it last. Oh, it's in the bottom. I did not have it last. You did. It was definitely not me. I don't even know what that thing looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the coach could maybe also go, this seems like a bad idea. But they don't have any time because there are the things in between nationals that they have to do. You know, regionals, I think. I don't know the order that these competitions... Is it regionals Tip and then nationals? Typically, it'd be regionals and then nationals. How did we do so good on that? That was... <laughs> we were bad. <laughs> Kevin is, like, having it, though. He's boogieing. He's twerking. Um, so they get Bucky Barnes to come teach them how to do spirit fingers for regionals. And then they go to regionals, and the Clovers are there because they wrote to that lady and they gave her a tiny cheerleading outfit she'd never fit in. And she was like, how complimentary you can go to regionals. Uh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> I did it. We need chicken. <laughs> Chicken's on my side. Have some steak. <laughs> <laughs> no. Chicken. Uh, Where's the stoker? Where is the stoker? Where is Bram? It must exist, right? There it is. It's by the trash can. Can you grab it? Oh, it's <clears throat> Um, So they take Bucky Barnes's routine to regionals. And halfway through, they see another team doing that routine. And they get really embarrassed. Because A, it's a stupid routine, and B, someone else is doing it, right? Um, can you, I, we need to bring me to this side so I can deliver this. <clears throat> but we're going to do very badly, and I hate this already. <laughs> uh, I need a mushroom. Well. That was a tomato. Mm, here you go. Thank you. Have a tomato, I guess. What's the next thing we need? Uh, so I've got the veggie one. You've got, you need a chicken. No, this just needs pineapple, tomato, and mushroom. Yeah, I've got that so one going. So here's mushroom. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, that one. That one's ready to go out. Okay, this has a tomato on it. So what's next? Chick just chicken? That That's right there. Deliver it. Fuck. We've had that one ready. It's just sitting there. Oh. Uh, okay, so the next one is steak chicken and tomato right the steak chicken tomato yes and there is a chicken right here thank you can um, you deliver that as soon as you can yeah right there. we just we have no counter space yeah we really don't this level sucks balls this level's not great here we go no i did it okay what do we need next uh, mushroom pineapple one? Here's mushroom. You need to deliver that. Mm. Okay. Mushroom steak. We need pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. I like stalled us out there. Yeah, you did. You can like hold us there. Interesting. Crazy. There's your pineapple. Thank you. Uh, and then I need mushroom. Oh, I just fell off. <laughs> uh. What's her name? What do you need? No, where were we? What do you need, though? Tell me. Uh, I need mushroom and pineapple <gasps> and tomato. <gasps> I hate this level. Mm. 
I don't even know if we need any of this. Uh, the tomato I can use. I need pineapple. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I feel like I did that, but I don't understand how. No, we need. <laughs> He doesn't let me deliver this. I quit. Put it down, put it down. Put it down. I, I've got it. Here, here. Too late. No, oh, you did yeah! it! Yay! <laughs> uh, so they go to regionals. Okay. And then what? Um, I don't know. Then what happens, Anthony? I mean, Wedge, you tell me. It's your job. No. Nope. Now it's yours. <laughs> well, I... I okay. I'm I didn't need this, but we have it. Oh. Uh. They go to regionals, and Bucky Barnes's routine does okay, but there's another team there that also does that routine. So this guy pulls Torrance aside, not the coach, mind you, Torrance. There are no coaches. And it's like, there are coaches of the other teams. Because all these girls, like, pour into this place with all their curls and hairspray, and all of them are, like, vomiting, and the other coaches are like, it's okay. I don't need that. It's okay, Susie Lou. Nope. <laughs> um, it's okay, Susie. You, uh, it's, it, everything will be fine. It doesn't matter that you're missing two front teeth or whatever. We're gonna be okay. Damn, right. a fucking... This blah, chicken. Blah, 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 blah. Chicken right there. Thank you. I needed the steak, though, is what I was trying to get. Mm. Have steak. Okay. I need the toot toot. You need the toot toot. The air billows thing. Oh. Have the, the fire stoker. Have the have the Bram Stoker. Give me the toot. Here's another chicken for you. Thank you. I have. oh no, I will take this chicken. I need a tomat. Can you can you bring me over here quick? Eh. I yeah. need a tomat. Okay, well, you can have one as soon as I see one. Here you go. Uh so they go to Regionals. Yes. What happens at regionals? Uh, at regionals, they do the same routine as Bucky Barnes and the other team. And no. this guy pulls her aside and he's like, hey, we should really disqualify both teams because you cheated and you hired a choreographer and they're not your own routines, right? Um, I don't think I need this. I need you, this you and need, I need this. You need mushroom and... And I need, I need El the... Stocco. Fuck. Give me El Stocco. I need... I, I can... Put this. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> and I didn't get my steak. <sighs> what a day. What a day. None of that steak. This is not helpful. No. No. 100% not. There's a steak. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Where'd the billows go? Uh, the billows. It has fallen into the ocean, I think. Yeah, it should come back, though. Where is it? Uh, here you go. This somehow was made and I didn't even know I had a plate. Ha ha ha! Okay, what are we doing? I don't know. Which one are we even on? Uh, the, the second one. Steak, Steak. mushroom, panap. There's the bellows. It took forever to come back. Yeah, it did. Panap. Panap. Okay, the bellows needs to only live in one place. That's not possible. Because Always we right need there. It on both sides. Okay, fine. I guess. We did it. What? Which one are we on now? Uh, mushroom, panap, tomat. Okay, tomat. Here's mushroom. So you get a panap. That needs a plate. Panap. Oh, stop moving. Oh come on. Finally. Jesus. <clears throat> okay, here's a panap. Thank you. I need a plate for this one. Here you go. Quick, 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 quick. That didn't work. Move the skewer. Well, now I can't I deliver it. There, Give you deliver it. Give it to me! No, you got... What? We're not at the edge. So I can't deliver it. I didn't move it there. You did. I realize this. <laughs> I can't hold the plate and also move us. Okay, drop the plate. Okay. <sighs> you see how when you picked up the plate, I then started navigating the boat? Yes. Yes, I did see that. Uh, 
we have, we have nothing cooking. We just... Yeah, it's fine. We don't need things cooking. That's not what this game is about. <laughs> this game is about movies. We got two stars. <laughs> oh, God. Somehow. They fuck up at regionals, okay? Regionals yes. is a bust. And they're gonna gonna totally and they're disqualify. Like, we them. let you yeah, we let you go through anyways because you guys are like the championship winners or something, right? So they get to go ahead even though they sucked chunks at the last one. Hey, special level. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> because of how well they did last year, thanks to Big Red and the boyfriend who might be gay, we don't know. He's just nowhere. Um, We're doing she's... steamed fish in, in mixer and then steamer. Yeah. So flour and, and something and then fish uh -huh. and everything needs to be chopped. Yep. Okay, I've got flour up here. I have these. How are we supposed to chop them? Uh, I don't know. Do you have a controller? You have a controller. I do. So oh, the okay. chop has to come up to you. You see? Yes. But then you can't give me anything. I have the controller too. Okay. Um, I need meat, I guess. You have to give me the meat. Oh yeah. man, this is gonna be annoying. Okay. Ugh. Okay, this goes in here. This goes in there. And that goes in the water. Fish. This goes to you. This goes in here. This goes over here, I guess. Can you hear me, me? Fish. Meat. Flour. Where's the bowl? Oh, you have it. You can't give me so many flowers at once because I'm going to have nowhere to put them very soon. Like right now. I need chopped meat, I guess. And then that means you need meat in general. Yes. <clears throat> so what happens after <laughs> they're disqualified? After they just get disqualified comes the scene that I was talking about where there's like all those montages and they're like having slumber parties at each other's house and Torrance meets the punky boyfriend and she like falls in love and Elijah Dushku is like, don't sleep with my boyfriend, but actually you should because he's real cute. And they have like a really sexist- um... You mean boy brother? Don't you just put this fish right in the steamer? Oh, do I? Yes. Oh, I do. This needs to go to you now. And I cannot throw it, I think. Yes, no, I, I cannot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need plates. Okay. Which you have. Um, and she's like, my brother is really nice, and you're really nice, and you guys should be in love with each other, but you have a shitty ass boyfriend. So, Torrance, after the whole thing with the Clovers realizes that her boyfriend sucks because he told her to just go with Bucky Barnes and Red and all that stuff and blah blah blah. So she drives up to the college that her boyfriend is at and is like, hey, a boyfriend from the ooze who looks like a boy band guy sort of and is a female cheerleader. We're breaking up and there's a girl in his room and you're like, oh no. And then she uh, decides that they're gonna do everything they can and uh, be the best cheerleaders they can be. And I have um, a carrot. Here you go. Plates, but I need you to wash them. Okay. Where are they? Oh, they're on the stove. Can you put them in the sink? Or no, I need them. You have to, they're behind the meats. Meats. We have the meats. Give me the sink. Uh, so she breaks up with her boyfriend. Yeah, hang on. Um, she breaks up with her boyfriend, and she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. So she, um, so she teaches the cheer squad how to do all these crazy cheers, including, like, modern dance and, um, um, uh, karate and mimery and all kinds of shit, right? And then they go to nationals 
where the other team is something fishy. Where the other team is, the Clovers, and the Clovers bust out all these moves. They're like, look at all these fucking hip hop moves we have. We're throwing people in the air, and we have all these guys on our team, and they're like doing crazy shit. And Torrance is like busting out some modern jazz moves, and they're like mimes in a box and stuff. And uh, then they came in second place. Yay! Movie's over. That's the end of the movie? Yeah, they come in second place, and the Clovers win because they earned it. Mm. That's like, you know. But, and they're all like, they think about being really sad. They're like, oh, second place. And then they're like, we came in second place! And they're so all excited and shit because it's second place at this like gigantic tournament. And then they sing that song where it's like, hey, Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow up my hey, Mickey! And it's like all the cheerleaders, including the one that broke her leg at the beginning of the movie. Oh, also, Torrance dances to Elijah Dushku's brother's. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Elijah Dushku. Lemon did not realize we had started playing again. <laughs> Elijah Dushku's brother's song, uh, where he says, "I like your pom poms," hit <laughs> hit, and it's a good time. And they fall in love at a car wash or something. And they fall in love at a car wash or something. Is, isn't that what happens in every movie? Yeah. Every early. Oh movie no! Team. Look what I did! I combined the flowers. We let's restart <laughs> this level. <laughs> Okay, we can restart. So, if you were to rate Bring It On, what would you rate it? Three out of three pom-poms. Three out of three pom-poms. Yes. Okay. That's a pretty high rating. That's a pretty high rating. I mean... It is one of my favorite movies, I think, actually. Yeah? You're correct this time, unlike with Die Hard, where you were very wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so what did you think about, um, I don't know, what are the other things I ask you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were no wigs in that movie to my recollection, so yeah. no, no wig ratings at this date. No wig ratings The costumes were good, music is obviously good because it's the Uzis. Uzis. Nope, I just... Picked up some fish and jumped into the pool. You picked it up? Uh, I needed to return it to its natural habitat. Ugh, I'm like really failing. Can I have some meat? You already have some chopped steak right there. Can I have it? Yeah. Danke. I told you this one was going to be short. I think you're supposed to tell me stuff I've missed. That I miss things? I don't... I mean, there, there's the whole thing with... This is ready to go to you. Eliza Dushka's brother. I said it. Which they said. spit toothpaste into the. <gasps> <laughs> that had flour and steak in it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was fake brushing my teeth and I fell in the water. As happens to so many of us on such. Uh, so often. Yes. Anyways, they are like brushing their teeth and like weirdly flirting with each other. I need a fleur. Fleur. A fleur. Have a fleer. I don't think Never I missed mind. much, honestly. I don't think you did either. Very good job. There's a football game at one point, and the football players are very homophobic. There's a lot of that in this movie. There is a lot of homophobia. And then you find out that the one male cheerleader actually isn't gay, and he, like, fingers Courtney every fucking game, which I think is hilarious. And also wrong. Which, one, which one's Courtney? She's the blonde one that's like really bitchy. They try to do a coup at some point. Like they try to take over the cheerleading team from Torrance. It's after Bucky Barnes does them dirty. I don't think his name is Bucky Barnes. I can't remember his name. It's like Sparky or something. Any plates? You can't have them. Please? I okay. need two of them. I guess. This time. I need fuel. Fleur and Karutz. I don't know why I said it weird like that. Mm, I gave myself this carrot back. I'm glad that you could give you, yourself that carrot. Here's a bunch of plates. Can I have some fleur? You didn't like Bucky Barnes as the cheerleading choreographer and instructor? I mean... I think you're supposed to think he's on coke as well, but it's never, you know, specifically stated that he's on coke. Yeah. 
You can you can imply it though. Uh, I need a plate. I've got like way too many carrots. It feels like. I'm a little busy over here doing things. That's fine. <laughs> there you go. Have this. Thank you for this unchopped carrot. You're welcome. It's really helpful in the food that I need chopped carrots for. <clears throat> Thank you for the bowl. I did actually need that. You need fish. You have to tell me when you need things, my friend. I don't know when I now need Now there's two things. flour in a bowl again. 206. What am I doing? I don't know. We did not beat it. We did not beat it, but we have finished the movie. Yeah, so, so like, is this over? Or how I, do we do this now? I, 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 think, <laughs> um, I think this is where we wrap up. Three pom-poms, one punk rock cassette tape. Is that for Eliza Dushku? No, that's for her hot brother. But oh, okay. I would definitely eat the toothpaste, though. Okay, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for another Lemon Sucks at Games movie night. Woo! Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, episode two. How do you feel that that went, Lemon? I don't know. You said you think it's as funny as last time, but I felt a little weird about it. I don't know. Is it because it wasn't as long? Maybe. It felt very short for me. And I'm sure I missed, like, very important plot points. I kind of just, like, jump, 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 jump. That's the thing, though, is, like, I don't remember. I, I say what I remember. <laughs> well, part of that is probably my fault because I should have been... I should have, you know, gotten a little more current on the movie before How doing you? it. But I do expect you to be the foremost expert in all things Bring It On. I'm sure that you do, and that is clearly a job that I have failed at. I did watch Bring It On 2 and 3 as well. Um, 2 is the worst thing I've ever laid eyes on, and 3 is pretty okay, actually. I'd watch 3 again. Is it better than Step Up 2? I don't, I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> I do not recall. Step up to the streets. Um, what have you been up to since last episode? Uh, well, I don't know. What have you been up to? A whole lot, actually. I am streaming for my theater company, All Puppet Players. We did a 12-hour vampire movie marathon, so there's some vampire movies locked and loaded for you. That's pretty awesome. Um, we raised a lot of money so that we can open up the theater in October, which is looking pretty promising. You should talk about your, your setup, that your, uh, um, like your new Twitch setup and everything. Yeah, so I'm streaming for this channel, for Lemon Sucks at Games, for YouTube, and I'm also streaming on Twitch. I'm really hoping to kind of build like a small community of cozy gamers. Gamers that aren't good at games, you know? You just want to hang out and, like, drink tea. That's what, I, that's what I'm looking for. So not, like, hardcore Smash players, but, like... Smash players are probably invited, but there's, like, two kinds of Smash <laughs> players, you know? Like, if you play with items on and you love to be Peach and just bat people with turnips, you're probably my kind of person. That's fair, that's fair. You know? If you are, I don't even know the other characters that you would be. You're, any of the other ones, basically. Any, <laughs> any, anyone that's not Peach. Anyone that's not Peach, you're not invited. So I'm just kidding, you're totally invited. No items, final destination, need not apply. Yeah, those guys can get the fuck out. You're not invited. <laughs> I mean, if you want to come and hang out, that's cool, but... Keep your mouth shut, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what this we're is where for. you can come and drink your tea and not talk to me about how you don't play with items on Smash Brothers. <laughs> I don't want any of that. No, thank you. Um, yeah, in uh, where we live, Wedge and I live together. We're roommates. We have this little tiny, like, I think it's supposed to be the dining room, but I've converted it into sort of a studio. We hung a up studio some, slash office. Studio slash office. We hung up some curtains today. Um, I got some new equipment, which I'm using for both streaming and um, work stuff, theater stuff. We really messed with the sound equipment. I'm trying to get that all figured out because I streamed my very first stream on Twitch, which was a fashion show. Um, it was a fashion show on Animal Crossing and a bunch of my friends came. It was really fun. It was we very there. fun. <laughs> uh, you were tuxedo masked. I was tuxedo masked. I was the girl from Midsummer. It was good times. We all had a lot of costumes yeah. though. I thought it w went really well. Me too. Uh, there's a photo on Twitter if you guys would like to take a look. And um, what else? 
what else? Oh, I am covering for my director on all puppet players right now. He hurt his... I mean, for Hamlet, the puppet Hamlet, his jaw hurts right now. <laughs> so I'm covering for him, and I'm playing in a segment that we're calling uh, Frady Cats, which is me and one of our company players, her name's Shannon, just playing terrifying, horrifying games. I played uh, Slender the Awakening, Arrival. Uh, I think it's The Arrival. The Slender the Arrival last night, and I almost pooped my pants, and I definitely did not want to go to bed. So that was fun. I mean, it's a very scary game, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we filmed this episode of Movie Night, and that's pretty much where we are. We we're looking into getting an opening. We're about to post episode one, I think. I think we're very close. I can taste it. Yeah, we're we're very close. There's a, a you know one or two outstanding things, and then hopefully we're gonna post it in the next week. Mm, I'm so excited. And uh, um, then we can you know bring this crazy thing that we're doing to all of you. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm having a great time, so. Me too, me too. And that's all that really matters. My whole goal for this in general is just to have fun, play Overcooked because I love it, and build like a little tiny community. Uh, I'm calling it the Lemon Empire, you know? The Lempire? Yeah, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitch, all that stuff. I'd like to do eventually sort of the format of Movie Night, but where we maybe do like interviews or something. I think that could be really fun. So stuff like that. Oh yeah, I think that would be great. Mm -hmm. We could have like, we could, you know, do other games that have more more people or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, bring in uh, two more people and play like four player games and I'll have a conversation while we're doing it. Yeah, Lemon Sucks a Games party game or something. Yeah, party that, that would be great. I don't know. Well, this has been episode two. We hope to see you in two weeks for the next episode, and if you have any movie or game suggestions, please drop us a line on Instagram or Twitter. Link's in the description. I'll be looking forward to them. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Twitch. Do you have a TikTok? We do. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for listening. If you stuck around to the end of this video, be sure to leave us a punk rock guitar emoji in the comments, and then like, smash that subscribe button, and punch that notification bell. We're wishing you the best of days, the most finely crafted cappuccinos, and that you always find the cold side of the pillow. Good night, my darlings. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>